Interthecal therapy has been a therapy that's been available for approximately 20 years now. It started actually as a approach to treat individuals with spasticity. And in the late 90s, morphine was placed intrathecally and subsequently was approved for continuous infusion therapy in certain populations of patients. Initially, it demonstrated utility in patients with cancer pain, particularly individuals with refractory uh, pain related to other types of therapies, such as oral medications, patients who may benefit from therapy ongoing that had more than a six month life expectancy. The demonstration of efficacy in cancer pain patients then was sort of the nidus for looking at it in non-cancer pain, particularly with the entire um, change in the mindset about utilizing opioids for the treatment of chronic non-cancer pain. Several studies were published, uh, one might call them level C evidence studies, uh, retrospective and prospective uh, or observational studies of patients that were treated with intrathecal therapy. And what they were able to demonstrate is in well-selected populations of individuals, patients who had either responded to therapies orally but had suboptimal responses as far as improvement in pain control, were psychologically stable uh, candidates for uh, a implantable type of system. Uh, and clearly had demonstrated efficacy with a trial of intrathecal opioid therapy over a two to five day period of time. These patients demonstrated significant benefit as far as improvement in the quality of their life, decreasing side effects related to the oral medications that may have only partially addressed the pain that they had. And the other added benefit was uh, pharmacoeconomic studies suggested that you could actually save on the long-term use of oral medications based on the fact that you actually were able to control individuals with very small amounts of medication. So there were no, multiple different benefits. I think it's critical to understand patient expectations. Uh, and it's important to understand, as you probably heard in multiple different lectures, that we're talking about a chronic pain condition, a condition that we can't eliminate the underlying etiology of the ongoing uh, systemic pain that somebody suffers from. So the goal is to educate the patient on what they can achieve with intrathecal therapy. And it goes back to the expectations of having lower side effects, improving the quality of their life, simplifying their medication regimen, but yet understanding that this is not a panacea. It won't eliminate their pain. It won't allow them to go back 20 years where they might have been able to run a marathon. They may be able to walk a mile now, uh, where before they could only walk 100 feet before they had to sit down or they might not even tolerate exercise going up and down steps. So you have to really frame the expectations of the patient and, and it's critical as far as what those are, as far as the outcomes go.